In this lecture, we will discuss 13th and 14th properties of Fourier transform and they are differentiation in frequency and modulation. So let's start our discussion with differentiation in frequency property of Fourier transform and as usual, I will first give you the property and then we will prove it. Let's say there is a time domain signal xt and this time domain signal is having the Fourier transform equal to x j omega and now we will multiply t to this time domain signal. Here you can see t is the independent variable of signal xt and we are multiplying the same independent variable to the signal. Whenever you do this, the Fourier transform which was initially equal to x j omega will get differentiated with respect to omega one time and the differentiation will get multiplied by j. So this is the property and now we will generalize it for t raised to power n multiplied to xt. So whenever we multiply t raised to power n to xt, the differentiation of x j omega with respect to omega will occur n times and j raised to power n will get multiplied to the differentiation. So this is the final property and now we will prove it. To prove this property, I will write down the Fourier transform of signal xt. It is equal to integration minus infinity to infinity, the time domain signal xt multiplied to e power minus j omega t dt. And in the property, you can see we are having differentiation of x j omega with respect to omega. So I will differentiate both the sides with respect to omega. So we have differentiation of x j omega with respect to omega on the left hand side and here e raised to power minus j omega t is the function of omega. So we will differentiate it with respect to omega and we will have integration minus infinity to infinity x t is a constant for the differentiation because we are differentiating with respect to omega and x t is a function of time but e raised to power minus j omega t is not constant with respect to omega so we will differentiate it with respect to omega and we know the result of differentiation will be equal to minus j t e power minus j omega t so let's quickly write down the final result after the differentiation we have integration minus infinity to infinity signal xt multiplied to minus jt multiplied to e power minus j omega t dt i will write the right hand side in a rearranged form so differentiation of x j omega with respect to omega is equal to integration minus infinity to infinity i will write this t here multiplied to xt then i will write the exponential we are having e power minus j omega t dt and i will write this minus j here and we know minus j we can write as 1 over j so instead of writing minus j i will write 1 over j and now i will multiply j on both the sides so this j and this j will cancel out so finally we are having integration minus infinity to infinity t multiplied to xt e power minus j omega t dt on the right hand side and on the left hand side we have j multiplied to differentiation of x j omega with respect to omega and in this way we have clearly proved the property this is the Fourier transform this is the Fourier transform and this is the Fourier transform of time domain signal t multiplied to xt so this is our time domain signal whose Fourier transform is this and we are having the same thing in the property when n is equal to 1. In the same way if you perform differentiation one more time you will have j power 2 differentiation 2 times and here you will have t squared and if you perform the differentiation n times you will have j power n differentiation n times and the time domain signal will become t power n multiplied to xt. So I think the proof of the property is now clear and now we will move to the next property which is modulation. And to understand the modulation property of Fourier transform we will assume one time domain signal xt and let's say 
its Fourier transform is equal to x j omega or for simplicity we can say x omega. Now if you multiply cos omega naught t to the time domain signal x t, the Fourier transform which was initially equal to x omega will change to 1 over 2 inside the bracket x omega plus omega naught plus x omega minus omega naught. So this is the first result of the modulation property and we will have the second result after multiplying sine omega naught t to the time domain signal x t and in this scenario the Fourier transform will become j over 2 inside the bracket x omega plus omega naught minus x omega minus omega naught. So this is the second result and out of these two results I will prove one result and the second result you can easily prove after that and you can see one thing very clearly that after multiplying cos omega naught t and sin omega naught t to the time domain signal x t frequency shifting is taking place. So let's move to the proof of the first result. Here we are having x t multiplied to cos omega naught t. So I will first consider cos omega naught t and we know from Euler's formula we can write e power j omega naught t plus e power minus j omega naught t divided by 2 or I can write multiplied by 1 over 2. After this we will multiply x t. Both the sides will get multiplied by x t and on the right hand side we will have 1 over 2 inside the bracket x t multiplied to e power j omega naught t plus x t multiplied to e power minus j omega naught t and now we will take the Fourier transform of x t multiplied to cos omega naught t so let's take the Fourier transform of signal x t multiplied to cos omega naught t and this is equivalent to 1 over 2 inside the bracket Fourier transform of x t multiplied to e power j omega naught t plus the Fourier transform of signal x t multiplied to e power minus j omega naught t. So we wanted to have the Fourier transform of x t multiplied to cos omega naught t and for that we are taking the Fourier transform of x t multiplied to e power j omega naught t. After that we are taking the Fourier transform of x t multiplied to e power minus j omega naught t. Then we are adding them and after that we are multiplying by 1 over 2. This will give us the Fourier transform of x t multiplied to cos omega naught t. And now we will use the property known as frequency shifting. Here you can see time domain signal x t is multiplied by e power j omega naught t and we know from time shifting property the Fourier transform of signal x t which is x omega will get shifted by omega naught and the sign we are having here will be negative because here we are having the positive sign omega naught is the amount by which shifting will take place and as it is positive here we are having negative sign here. Similarly from here using the frequency shifting property we will have omega. Omega naught is the amount by which shifting will take place and as we are having negative sign here we will have positive sign here. So finally we are going to get the Fourier transform of x t multiplied to cos omega naught t equal to 1 over 2 inside the bracket x omega minus omega naught plus x omega plus omega naught. So this is the final result we are having and in this way we have clearly proved that x t multiplied to cos omega naught t is having the Fourier transform equal to x omega plus omega naught plus x omega minus omega naught divided by 2 or multiplied by 1 over 2. And if you want to prove the second property it is very easy to prove it. Simply use sine omega naught t equal to 1 over 2j 
multiplied to e power j omega naught t minus e power minus j omega naught t. Follow the same steps, multiply xt on both the sides and then use the frequency shifting property. So this is all for this lecture, see you in the next one.